Hi, my name is Freya Christie. I'm the British number four in doubles. I've just come back from Wimbledon, but I'm here to tell you about the Shrewsbury ITF World Tennis Tour and what makes it so special. Firstly, it's being held at this fantastic venue, the Shrewsbury Club. You've got everything you need under one roof. From the amazing two-story gym that's great to warm up and cool down in, through to the pool and the day spa, I never get to use those. The classes, spin studio and beautiful changing rooms, this is such a lovely club to play at. What I like best though is the friendly team who make us feel so welcome and I love the hub with its great range of food. One year the tournament even coincided with my birthday, they even made me a cake. But what else does Shrewsbury have to offer? I'm going to find out and look at this, some brand new wheels from our ITF World Tour sponsor Budgeon Motors. There's so much history here, where else can you find a cinema on top of an ancient market hall? It's pretty cool that there are 660 listed buildings in Shrewsbury, like this one. It used to be the old music hall, but now it's the town museum and art gallery. Inside, I found the Book of Victors from the Wenlock Olympic Games from 1864. That's 32 years before the first modern Olympics. Shrewsbury sets the trends. Couldn't find a tennis winner, but there was lots of athletics. Hurdles, quoits, whatever that is, and cycling on a penny farthing. Excuse me, do you know where I can get a decent coffee from in Shrewsbury? Everywhere. You have to explore Shrewsbury's famous shuts and passages. I bet they can tell a tale or two. The clue is in the name. I even found this Harry Potter themed shop. Hopefully there's some magic in this wand. I bought it to use it on my opponents. We need to stack up on the cards for a big tournament, like the Shrewsbury W100. I found this great indie sourdough pizza place just up from the castle. Thank you. Love the vibe. Vegan beetroot latte, anyone? Shrewsbury is full of surprises. Check out this Italian restaurant in the old vestry, right under St. Altman's Church. It's quirky and a local's favorite. Great place to celebrate a win. Chin chin salute. Just around the corner is the tournament hotel. The Prince Rupert is said to be chock-a-block with ghosts. And they must like four poster beds as this famous historic hotel has some of the poshest rooms in town. Thank you. Maybe we could get my opponent into a haunted room the night before we play our match. Can we do that? You can't leave Shrewsbury without a visit to its award-winning market hall. Look for the clock tower and climb the stairs. This is Britain's favorite market and it's easy to see why. If that's all too much, then head to the river and the quarry. This town really does have everything, although I'm not sure about the rowing. That looks seriously hardcore. Luckily, there's a great live music scene in Shrewsbury with stacks of gigs on, so I'm heading to Albert's Shed to see what's on. So why not come to Shrewsbury and cheer as British players on during the Shrewsbury ITF World Tennis Tour? You'll be more than welcome. And there's so much to see and do. See you there. <laughs>